How's it going? Do you want to talk in the mic? Yes. What do you want to say? Trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. You got you guys know that like we're supposed to have minds like chat like children, guys. We're supposed to have sim we're supposed to have simple minds. God bless that family. Um, we're supposed to have minds like a child. Guys, stop. It's really simple, guys. You know, there's the devil and there's Jesus. There's heaven and there's hell. Um, you either come to the Father or you don't. You either, you know, submit yourself to God or you keep on living in sin and living in the world. This is what you have to do. Repent and put your trust in the gospel. In other words, put your, tr your full trust in Jesus Christ. Gospel means good news. The good news is that we're guilty. We're guilty sinners and we deserve hell. But Jesus, Jesus Christ so loves us that he paid the fine for us. Jesus Christ loves us so much that he died for us. That's the good news. Gospel means good news. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the four gospels in the Bible. They're great. They're awesome. They're true stories. How's it going? Do you want to talk in the mic? Yeah. Here you go. Okay. So I'm not Christian, so I have some questions, right? Yeah. So whenever I ask somebody about God, mm -hmm. Jesus, mm -hmm. they say he's either God or he's the son of God. Yeah. I don't know which one. Oh yeah. Let me answer that, brother. That's a good question. The Bible says that he's the son of God, but he's not literally the son, guys. He's There's something called the, the Trinity. There's the Holy Spirit, there's God, and then... There, no, there's the Father, the Holy Spirit, and the Son. They all three make up God. So Jesus, he's called the Son of God, but he's not literally the Son. He's Jesus sent on earth as a man. He has a fleshly body. And he did that, you know, to show us, to give us a representation of how we should live. He, he did that so he could, you know, see how it, it is to be tempted. He was tempted 40 days in the wilderness. He let that self... He let that happen to himself so that we can have so that we could have a standard you know it says to live as jesus did we can't live like god because god doesn't god doesn't get temptations but jesus was tempted and he denied those temptations so so um jesus christ is god guys it's outside of our understanding really but there's three parts to god and they total up to make god there's the holy spirit there's the father there's the Son. They all make up God. God is outside of our understandings, guys. Our fleshly minds can only think so much. That was a great question. And, um, you know... That was a great question, guys. We need to, um, you know, those questions matter. We need to figure this stuff out before we die. You don't know when you're gonna die, guys. You could die tonight. You could die in a car wreck, you know? You could get killed, you could get shot, you could have a heart attack. You don't know when you're got you don't know when you're gonna die. So don't put this off. It's your soul we're talking about. It's the most important thing. Jesus Christ, you know, he's the only way to heaven. Jesus Christ wouldn't have died on the cross if there was another way to heaven. Jesus Christ wouldn't have died on the cross, you know, if Buddha was the way to heaven. He wouldn't have died on the cross if Allah or Muhammad was the way to heaven. No, he died on the cross because that's the only way to heaven. It's not that complicated, but some people, it's hard for them because they want to stay in their sin. It's not complicated, but it's hard. It's simple. All you have to do is recognize your sin, that, and you need to say you're sorry, and then you have to continue to turn away from your sin. The Bible says, deny yourself daily when you're tempted to masturbate, when you're tempted to you know, put other stuff before God, when you're tempted to lie. It says to deny yourself. This is the word of God. What verse is this again? Deny yourself and pick up your cross, guys. When Jesus said, pick up your cross and walk with me, he didn't mean pick up your phone and take a cute little selfie and post a cute little Bible verse on your Instagram bio. He said to pick up your cross and follow me. Following God and being a real Christian isn't going to be easy. You're going to be persecuted. People are going to hate you. But there's also going to be people that love you. Oh man, I... Alright. 
Guys, if you don't believe in something, what's it going to do for you to believe in Jesus Christ? What's it going to do? Except for, you know, you might have to lose your desire to sin. How's it going, sir? Can you speak? Be, you're to be commanded, buddy. Thank Come you, brother. God bless yeah. you, sir.